Foxy's here, and today we are on uh, Dark Carnival of Left 2. That's kind of mixed up. Uh, we're on Left 2 playing Dark Carnival. I am so sorry. Uh, so this is the third uh, campaign of the Left 2 story because it's kind of has a story but different ways to go. And I just played this with my friends and stuff, and um, I'm kind of uh, getting close or calling my friends' voices and stuff. So we can easily sort that out then. And you can meet my friends and stuff. And let's get to the game. I just left my controller somewhere and I just found it. I think I kind of fix the echoes, but if you do yeah, hear echoes, news, guys, but unless Ellis um, knows how to build a monster truck, we ain't driving through this. I can hear echoes, oh, but gosh. just this by listening such to the hot Elgato. Idea after all. God damn you, Jimmy Gibbs Jr. That's not cool, Nick. I'm still trying to figure it out. I was hey, actually trying here. to fix it before those, but. Shit, I used to go there when I was a kid. Let's get moving. Like nothing to say. Just like just get through this campaign. Yeah. Um, I will try and get catch up, like I've said before. The catch up on the Minecraft series is just that I have been playing with my friends lately, and they wouldn't leave me alone. Sorry, guys. But like. Pills. There's pills here. <laughs> oh yeah, they're showing the oh. Anyways, there is a drill car through there, as you just saw. I'm so sorry, I'm used to that. But there's actually another path, which is a lot more to. Reloading. You can either go down there or go over here, but if you go down there, you can either go to the motel, which is just over here. Reloading. I'm reloading. Weapons. Shotgun. Let's check over here. There's usually lots of stuff here. Guitar but here. Time. Adrenaline shot here. Adrenaline shot. Pipe I got a pipe bomb. I'm not getting rescued. I'm getting hit too much. This is Oaks Motel. I know where we are. Gas cans. Ain't nobody been swimming in this pool for a while. Let's get up on the walkway. Molotovs are better than pipe bombs, so the same kind of pipe bombs are better than Molotovs. Puke, I would say it's a distraction for zombies, not exactly killing them. Through this door. Reloading here! I hate you. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I don't know if I mentioned this, but like I'm gonna do this in order of the second left of two. I have the DLCs for the Left 4 Dead one, but I can't really play on the other one because they only allowed the Left 4 Dead two version. So I've actually it's kind of good. Um, got jockeyed. 
Um, Thank you, I got a heal. I'll do these in order, like from Left Dead 2 to Left Dead 1, even though it should be the other way around, but it won't make sense, I guess. Because the first game really brings out the second game at the same time, and how the major character is the passing. Uh, and if once I get to the sacrifice, that will be pretty much a bit of these new play games, and I'll probably think of something else to play. The if there's any custom games, I'll probably play them by myself and play them by myself. It won't be a big huge surprise for me then, but I don't really care. This game be not here. Safe house ahead! Oh! You idiots! You just opened that door and you just let that charger in. But that, 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 let's just. Hey, can somebody watch my quick. back? I'm gonna heal. 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 Yeah. A zombie and close the door. Woohoo! Elvis has left the building! Whispering oops. That's what we are. Where well, we are. Jesus Christ. My words! Um, I don't know if Whispering Oaks are a good time to play. Because Savannah is actually like, the real thing. Reloading! Reloading! I know. Because all this is making in America, I think. Shooting range, huh? Hold Let up, me just show you what you can do. I'm reloading. Probably all of you just know already, yeah. but I just wanted to do it. Baby, shoot all those skeletons. Stash you. in there, Noam Chomsky. Hey, I'm reloading. Basically, there's an achievement to do with friends and stuff. It's where you basically take the gnome with you to the helicopter. Yeah, so it's a helicopter. Okay, I'm not going I have no shotgun. Oh, sorry. fire when you mess with that damn witch. So if you don't know this tip, probably some of you probably know that you use shotgun against witch. Never mind. In a certain but area like, yeah. of her neck or her head. Sticks between, between the neck, and you just instant kill her. Oh, yes. There's chainsaw, chainsaw here. I'm not gonna bother the chainsaws. You know, it'll help more because it can suck. Kill her! Like, jockey somehow. 
Samantha's. Like, if you aim directly at the, 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 the uh, zombie, <laughs> jockey, or the hunter, you can easily kill them when they jump. Because when they jump, it's a kill for them. Guns right here. There's gun, there's gun. There's a Molotov. Faithful bat. And there is a pipe bomb. Another baseball bat. Oh, this would be useful for another player. Bomb and single player. Hello. It'll be a one man cheeseburger apocalypse. Kill the clown! Kill the clown! Kill the clown! I'm me! Uh, there's pills in there, probably for the bots. So probably. Hey, can somebody watch my back? I'm gonna heal. No chance to do a chop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Weapons over here. Much better shot, man. Guys like Nick and stuff, but I'm just doing that for fun. Oh, hell, man, it's bitter, dude. Of course, if this was a real zombie apocalypse, I would never do that because it would instant kill them. I'm grabbing pills. Grabbing pills. And I Nick got these needs pills. Heal, but I took the health kit. <laughs>
Oh, the flip knife goes back. Get inside. Gotta reload. I think that's a pick. Y'all get ready now. Okay guys, I think I figure out what was happening with the echoes. Oh, it's because yeah. of the volume. Oh, oh yeah. Because Pani picks up its own voice and it thinks I'm talking. Dang, I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I kind of hear the echo in a way, but... Because what the volume is, if it's too high, it will definitely pick up as an echo. I don't know if this mic is supposed to make it echo. Reloading. I'm reloading. Like echo, echo, echo. And ow! Watch out! Let's take a look from here. Two Your face. Yeah, I got some frag rounds here. There's events that was not right. I'm not sure why I was doing that. There we go. Into the main Shotguns are more effective onto the witch if you know where to shoot. Guns right here. Rubbish. The preferred shotgun is because it's more effective, but at the same time, less bullets because it's done. Chamber. Threw that blast it out, hold it up. Ah! Oh wow, that smoke was hiding in the dark. There's lots of kills, so I keep on using it. I know something's up there. Okay, we're further down the path. Let's go here. Weapons over here. Yeah, 
Yeah, if you do manage to go on the coaster, you will die because, like, apparently, if you go on top of the coaster, you will get. Cover me, please. You got back here. Reloading. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers? Yeah, safe house, y'all. Excuse me. No, don't get me. Heads up. Y'all, inside now. Reloading. Get in, Nick. Jesus Christ. That's how it's done, right? I think that's better. Oh. I'm gonna keep on changing uh, audios for each game so you can like kind of hear me the way you hear the game. Because if you just hear me rambling about stuff, hey, some guns here. That would just get boring. And if the game is too late and I hear me, you probably think I don't talk too much. Through the bump of cars. I'm reloading. Through the bump of cars. You can hear the helicopter, which is the one that we're supposed to get in. Reload! And that's where we have to go. Safe up somewhere. I think you can see a bit. I wish there was an actual way to just like. Let's get inside the stadium. If this it was real life, you can just easy jump over this. Like literally, just jump over this fence. And you're just there, and you just can go in. Same thing over there. Weapons. Welcome to uh, whack a mole Oh, I say whack a statue. And uh, this Thing that related to sing, or oh, whatevs, or something, right? Like, 
Uh, it's basically you gotta choose for the same thing the uh, thing where you basically hit a hammer on it and if you know how strong you are apparently. But for that you need a um, adrenaline drop. Which I don't have. So I already got the achievement stage to go. Because I read the achievements and trying to get them. I almost got all the achievements are left in two. If you see a achievement pop up, grab it a shot. My videos is probably the ones I think of. We climb across the witch. Hello, witch. That was actually fun. Reloading. Let's climb up this ladder. Go down. Climb up this ladder and go down. Wait, is there a tank? Holy! Holy! Hey, wait a second. I got a heal. Big time is always a problem. I'm not forward to actually getting hit while I'm healing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because if you heal from red, I think you have less health, I think. Oh, I want the bot stupidly enough just let's just do this thing. I got it. I don't really know what's the best bot, but sometimes I hangs out here because it's near the gates, cause these are the gates where they pop dead. Probably see what happened. Stand still. Oh, I'm gonna mess this up. Reloading. So let's see how this goes. Probably bad. Yeah, again, like I said, I'm trying not to make these videos long. I'm keeping track of time, and it's like half an hour, like, about, like 30 minutes into this. Hey, I heard with. I'm mine, but if it's past 30. Damn man, you mess with that damn bitch. Just own the witch. Jesus Christ. Okay, with this, you don't see no gas guns or anything like that. It's because you need to survive through 
all these infected while you signal chopper. That's the whole point of being here. You basically try and get out of the infection, but you end up stuck in somewhere else. So you got this, and it will play some songs. I don't know if I should turn it down. Because I'm not going to be copyright or not. Hopefully it's not copyright music. Even though it's from a game, I'm really hoping that it doesn't. Because that's copyright. I'm trying to avoid songs and games. Like Call of Duty stuff. Like, cause you know some songs. So in the past thing, I, I didn't, you know, that little music box by the wedding. Last uh, video in Left of Two. You see that music box oh, yeah. and like, it plays, um, so if you sugar, I think. Night Riders. I don't know if these actually are people. Well, I think one of my friends says they are, and that's the real music. I'm not quite sure, but it is quite an old game now, I guess. A lot of people play it just because it's a fun game. It out a lot of characters. Because each uh, character has different personality, like Michelle, she's a news Reloading. Player, and she could be also, I don't know, kind of nice and stuff. You got Coach who is a very good man, he is, is into his food apparently, and uh, he eats his tofu or something and stuff. Reloading. Why me? Holy oh, shit, that thing's wild! You! Yeah, uh, coaches. That type of man you should hang around with, cause like, he knows. Birthday kid here. Something who he needs to be a coach. And then you got Nick, who is Mr. Gambling Man, as Ella says. And he's quite of a jerk. I need to figure out how to put notifications on while I'm recording. Oh my god, here we go, here we go. I think I disconnect because I was originally in a friend's party and I told them that I was cool and I disconnected so they think I might have... Uh, no. Bye, crew world! Yes, it's game over because if it's single player and you die, you have to restart everything you just done. Which sucks. God damn it, quit fussing and let me heal you. Alright, now I'm back. Oh. Oh, so now we got two people who have gets and the coach left. Anyways, going on, um, Nick used to be a gambler, I think, and he used to be with a gang. He goes out with his wife, and he's kind of like kind of the now, like he like dumps him, I think. I don't know what's Nick's background so much, because it's been ages to play up to, I got to know the characters. But I know about Alice, who I'm playing as. Uh, he's an, a mechanic, and he originally is supposed to be like goofy guru guy, Guns right here. sort of thing. But at the same time, smart. We got a charge. Get the lights. Lights. He's got that South American, I think, sort of accent. I don't know. Like the countryside, sort of thing. The only reason I like Elvis is because like he's kind of different. He, he always has toe stuff. You and Coach can sometimes be a downer or something like that. But Alice, Alice is kind of like a happy person. Like even though everything.
everything is going to hell. I think he's the one I keep his hope up more than ever. Any other characters? Because I think one of the. I think I think I'm going to some of the times. People make comics and stuff. Nah, and they make Ellis a more happier person. Like he always brings the hopes up and that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like it. Playing as Ellis, folks. So I can wear the hat. Like every time I get caught by a jockey, I always pretend that the jockey tries to get my hat. And that's age. No. Age goes, I didn't really like Ellis because. I usually just like to play as male characters, so I usually, I originally play with Michelle. Then, like when I was on online, like me, other people, internet, sort of thing. Um, I usually became chess with Alice. Here. I play the with you because like all my guitar and my whole life I think I kind of watch films and stuff but I love them because some stories of horror films have like, a way how monsters got into it and like like supernatural and how the mystery starts and stuff and what the monster is like I kind of know horror and how to scare people with it, how to be like kind of creepy so things now. Hey, can somebody wait up? I gotta heal. That's with my, the mic I think because it's more oh, yeah. sensitive. Because this mic is not really sensitive because I can hear myself from the Elgato and it's barely picking up some stuff. It's because when I go real quiet, it's like, it's really pick up. Like, I just whisper and I have to whisper lo but loud. So we're getting close to the end of the campaign. I don't want to play this too long. I'll have to see how many minutes I have to play this because apparently on my computer it says I on here 47 minutes. Let's take away the minutes from the loading screen. It doesn't really count. Of how long I'm really nice. I played Left the Two since it came out. I think I mentioned it. Men mentioned Reloading. And Left the Two was this game's actually played. The line. The people. And that's where I found some friends. Quite soon enough today. Yeah. Sing it. I'm the main person that sings it. Oh! Below me. Right, in this one you will get tricked because uh, the helicopter which is there, you think it might land over there, but it will land over here. It will go to either side. Has escaped for now. Okay, 
anyway, that's pretty much it for today. As usual, just one campaign and stuff. So hopefully you enjoyed this video of the Dark Carnival. It's pretty much interesting how it builds up from the dead center where you get the Jimmy Jibs. Uh, Jimmy Junior. I don't know. I can't really say it right now for some reason. And basically, that's his car of what we used in the passing and got away for his uh, exit, which we met the Left 4 Dead characters, the first ones. And in Dark Carnival, you can't go past because of the road blockage by Whispering Oaks, which was another evac center. Apparently. And you go into a chopper. And I think the next one is uh, Swamp Fever. Yeah, Swamp Fever. Swamp Fever is basically, as by the title, is a swamp. Because Dead Santa is uh, connected to the mall, which is called Santa, and the passing is actually passing through the actual first Left 4 Dead characters and how Left 4 Dead ended of like the whole thing. And then you got um, thinking, thinking, Dark Carnival, which was that, and it was night time, which, uh, represents the dark, and you got the actual carnival, which is the actual park, sort of thing, and you get it. I'm sorry if I'm rambling, but this is, like, comparing the titles to the actual maps. Because Dead Center represents the dead people, which the characters realize they're zombies and then it's in the center well two maps really in the center which is the center mall i think that's how you pronounce it and then the passing is actually just passing through the last uh campaign that ever happened in life or dead because you meet lewis francis zoe and you just see dead bell and I'll show you in the sacrifice of what really happened because usually on Left 4 Dead I play as Zoe. But for the final one I'll play as Bill and you can see what really happened. Because really if you play as other characters and you do it, it doesn't really make you understand how, how that happened. I'm not going to try and ruin it, even though if you know what happened in Sacrifice and stuff, I don't know if any of you actually play Left 4 Dead or Left 4 Dead 2, and then it's down, you got the DLCs. I don't know that, so that's what I'm trying to explain now. And in Dark Carnival, you just go through a actual carnival, and it's in darkness. Because in the Dead Center, it's like morning, right? Same thing with the passing, but it's raining and it's kind of like an afternoon thing. And then Dark Sen- no, Dark Sen- Why was I thinking that? I'm so sorry. I'm too much rambling, I'm trying not to make this video too long, but like I'm just explaining how far we just got to. Because we've done three campaigns. And what I was saying is, it's basically in the dark, in the darkness, and where you lose the car, and you have to go through where the road was, and you go through the motel, and then you go down a hill, and you go to the entrance to the actual carnival of Whispering Oaks. Nah, and then you just go for it till you get to the concert. Because I don't know if it's supposed to be a moving carnival or not. I'm not quite sure. It's probably not because thinking about it. No. Nah. But why I don't really stand of the Dark Carnival when I was realizing the mapping. Like, you know, by the entrance 
where you originally have to go, you get stairs. That was all blocked off by fence. I think. I'm, I'm so rambling about. If you wanna really want to just stop watching this video by now, you can just go ahead. I should have said that earlier, but... You know me. Bye now. Because you got those fences, like I was explaining before, you got those fences. How can the people enter it? Well, apparently there's another way. That's the way to the exit. I don't know. I actually not actually probably seen that, but that's why I think what it is. Um. So yeah, the next one will be Swamp Fever. It will carry on to what is happening just after what happened to Dark Carnival and that, like how the escort saw a vehicle has failed or something because so far you got um, out of the dead center which was the mall you got past the passing which is with the left dead characters and you're stuck in dark carnival and you get out of the helicopter so stay tuned in the channel to see what actually happens after what the what happened to the helicopter or what to the survivor if you are kind of new to the channel, if you find this video just randomly and me rambling on and on and on and on, um, so yeah, that's it. That's it. I'm gonna end it right there. I'm not gonna carry on to bore you guys. So hopefully you enjoy this video. Next uh, map, like I said, is Swamp Fever. I think it would be shorter than this one, but maybe it depends on how I edit and stuff. But anyways, give it a like. Hopefully you enjoyed me nearly screaming my head off, I think. I think there's some parts of me screaming my head off. Screaming my head off. But anyways, good luck.